me about the new guy. My new guy is perfect. <laughs> She's giddy. With Brian, like, I was like, he always had something that I didn't like. Like, I broke up with him like 10 times. Yeah. This guy isn't cheap. He's loyal. He has a good personality. He's got a great personality. Smart. He's, He's high profile. He's articulate. He is generous with all my friends. He has a house in Boca Raton, New York, in the Hamptons. The guy's a fucking amazing. Like, and he's gorgeous. Like he's great in the sack. Like yeah, I'm a little jealous. He came to London <laughs> to see me, and then he went to Italy. He traveled like four countries to come see me. He is the perfect man of my, like he's the man of my dreams. So how did you two meet? Well, I met him through Ramona at his barbecue in the Hamptons, and like we talked like like every day. He writes her love notes. Love he writes emails. me love notes love every emails. day. Love emails every morning when I wake up. We FaceTime like we had this like old romance. Like he was courting you. Yeah, courting me. So you me. guys never yes. kissed or anything when you were in that medical. No, but we like we're like in love like when we're talking to each other. And I said, "What happens if like he has like a small dick?" Yeah. If he had like a small dick, there's no way. Yeah. Like that ain't going to happen. Did you ask Ramona, did she know? No, Ramona didn't know. I know, but maybe she like her. No, he's perfect. So when did you finally get together? When he went to London and he came and stayed with me and we hooked up right away, like in two seconds when he came to that door. <laughs> he's awesome. I've never been like this happy and like and so in love. Ever. Like ever. In my whole life. Now you get to watch a whole show about Brian. <laughs> Isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> That's all right. It could be worse. It could be married to Shane. <laughs>compared to season one is exactly the same thing. Do you want to talk <laughs> She had more to say. She had more to what? say about what? what? It's a joke. I know, you but have it makes to get people, my sense of humor. They, but it's not, that's but not I, I, funny. I'm not oh, wait, wait, wait. Jackson, I didn't do anything wrong, oh, By the way, <laughs> nothing you will say will hurt me, because oh, you are right. trash. <laughs> it's Groundhog's Day. <laughs> it's Gang Up on Kelly. It's Gang Up on Kelly uh, year again. So it's like deja vu all over again. This time, instead of getting bullied by like seniors in high school, you're yeah. getting bullied by senior citizens. Perfect. <laughs> and, and senior citizens and freshmen <laughs> and right. the younger ones too. <laughs> so Emily, have you seen any examples of this kind of behavior with the ladies? I mean, there was a lunch where Tamara and Vicky tried to convince me to turn against Kelly, and I stood my ground the entire time. She needs psychological help. It's just not normal behavior. It's not. You don't act You don't that do way. that. Hurt people. Well, I know when she lashes out, I always felt like it came from a place of hurt. I said that at the tea party. And, and look what she did to me a couple days later. I didn't give to her a hall pass. Like I'm not giving her a hall pass. She's a victim all the time. Kelly obviously is a nonconformist. I mean, we all know that. They have a, an agenda. I don't have an agenda. Right. So when Kelly doesn't fall in line, then the way to attack her or bring her down is to try to ruin her reputation, make her look stupid, make her look bad. For her to go and try to make you mad at me because she's hurt is bullshit. She takes this bit of information and she twists it. She's really going dirty. I feel like there was so much crap that everybody else was saying about Kelly. Like Shannon is the one who brought up the altercation in the bar. Mm -hmm. And then the telephone with those people. And then Vicky brings up like the altercation you had with your mom and you threw her down the stairs. And because I feel like they were saying she was volatile, like she's out of control. And I feel like Brahman said, oh yeah, but I've seen her get in an argument and they just left and they didn't get in a fight with um, each other in front of his son. I honestly feel like, and I could be wrong, and I will, if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong, but I felt like in that moment, I felt like Brahm was, was trying to defend Kelly. And I think that was the intent. That's the way I understood it. I could be wrong. But, but they try to paint me out in a different light. When that, and, no, I, but I she agree. shouldn't even talked about it whatsoever about the argument. But I feel like in that I. instance, her intent was not malicious against you. Whereas Shannon just all of a sudden throwing out that you got in a fight in a bar, that was malicious. But I never told her no, about No, Tamara it. did because then Tamara side-eyed her. But that's, like, that's how they are. Then I'm They're saying, but then what happened after that? Tamara goes and calls you and tells you Bronwyn was talking crap about you at the yeah, birthday party. She did. Every freaking woman at that table was talking crap about you. And I feel like Bronwyn was the only one that was trying to defend you. Yet they use Bronwyn as a sacrificial lamb threw her under the bus and got you pissed at Bronwyn because that's what Tamara does. Mm -hmm.
You said you're normally reluctant to meet the new housewives, yet you and Bronwyn really seem to hit it off this season. I'm trying to figure out how old Lydia is because she's acting like a 10-year-old. Did I insult you when I came to your party? You know what, Kelly? Keep going! Bye-bye. Leave bye -bye. my party right now. I, I am noticing a pattern in Shannon's behavior of her not really caring about me at all. Maybe there's a little too much glaze on it. Sorry. I don't like change. I, I just, I don't like change. And I have always had more of like a core, very small group of friends because I, I don't have a lot of time and I want to devote the quality time to the friendship. That being said, when I met Bronwyn, there was just kind of an, I don't know, an instant connection. What are you buying? <laughs> um, it looks just like Laura, sweetie. <laughs> I'm in a really happy place in my life right now, and she's tons of fun. And so, I don't know, it's just it, it kind of easy. Yeah, yeah, it really, was easy. Really easy. And that's, that's rare. Well, and this season <laughs> for you is all about change, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it is. It's about being happy. And, you know, I, I still pinch myself when I wake up in the morning thinking, who would have thought that after all this, I would say, thank goodness it happened because I wouldn't have all of this happiness right now. So. Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more videos, click here.